all what's left to do is to drive a ramp with the output value of that set range. I will go to materials, to my Lambert 10, which is assigned now to my spheres. I will map its color attribute with a ramp. Here, I want to make sure that normal selected and not as projection. I will choose a ramp and I will do as I did before. I will delete the green color. I will set my red color to black and my blue color to white. Here I want to drive my ramp with the set range output. So I click on set range output, shift click on my ramp, window connect selected, and I will connect the out value x of my set range node to my u coord of the ramp node. I will take a render of my scene. Now I can see that nothing changed depending on the distance from the camera. The problem is that my ramp is set to V-Ramp. I want to set it to U-Ramp as well. Now if I take a render of my scene, I can see that the farthest sphere is white and the closest sphere is black. To invert this, I will go another time to my ramp and I will invert the colors here. I will take the white all the way down and the black all the way up. I will take a render. And now we can see that the farthest sphere is dark, the closest sphere is white. The problems we ran into with the other method, for example, if we take our scene far from our camera and we render now, we can see nothing, which we would expect. And if we turn our camera and take a render from the other side, we will obtain also a good result, which we would expect. Now let us say for example I have a scene with fog and I'm using this generated image to drive the density of that fog. And I decided that I want to increase the density of my fog. All I have to do is I will go to my set range node and I will decrease this old maximum value which as we said earlier will set our distance beyond which our objects become more and more invisible. Let us say for example we set it to 40. We take another render of our scene. And now if we compare this new generated image with the old one, we can clearly see that now our objects are more and more darker. Instead of creating all that shading network, we may write some scripts to replace it. To do that, I will need a sampler info node, and I will need a Lambert shader. I will assign that Lambert shader to all of my spheres, then I will map its color with a ramp. Here I want to make sure that it's set to normal. I click on ramp and I want to make it a grayscale ramp as I did before. Okay, now let us open up our expression editor. First of all, we want to calculate the distance, replacing those multiply divide and plus minus average nodes. To do that, I will write distance equal. Sampler info three dot point camera x to the power two plus the square of the y coordinate plus the square of the z coordinate as well. The distance is calculated now. We have to set a maximum value which is the equivalent of the old max in the set range node from the previous shading network. We will set it to 56 as we did earlier. Now what's left to do is to shrink our distance interval to the 0-1 interval replacing the set range node from the previous network and link it to our ramps v coordinate. To do that I will write ramp 4.v coord equal color distance over dollar max value. Now we hit on create. Our expression is created. We have no errors. Now we try to render our scene. And we obtain the same result we obtained with that shading network with all the advantages it gave us.
Many other useful things can be created using the same methods. For example, if you want to create a height field, all you have to do is instead of using the point camera attribute, you have to use the point world attribute, which instead of giving you the coordinates of the sample point in the camera space, it will give it to you in the world space. For example, to create a height field, only you have to use the y coordinate of the point world parameter found under the sampler info node. And it goes the same if you want to create it using expressions. Instead of using the point camera in the expressions editor, you have to use the point world. So that's all I want to say about the depth and the high field. Hope I helped. Thanks for watching.